Wheeler Ball bugles the horses onto the field or onto the track for race number six, the FN Developments Race. They're going to go one mile for a purse of $8,700. Number one is While I Was Away, owned and trained by Dennis Dorchester, Kayla Pizarro aboard. Number two is Brit's Vow, owned by Murray Duncan and the estate of Gerald B. Stewart, trained by Murray Duncan with Christopher Husbands. Number three is Huckleberry County, owned by Triple Six Ranch, trained by Tom Gardeby Jr., Richard Mayers aboard. Number four, Simple Pursuit Scratched. Number five is Palamon, owned by Bob Noakes, trained by Lise Pruitt, Jerry Pruitt aboard. Number six is Royal Nick, owned by Lee Backhouse, trained by Jamie Hartman, Stanley Chady Jr. aboard. Number seven is Ski, owned and trained by Lorna Gray, Antonio Whitehall in the saddle. Number eight is Parkfield, owned and trained by Ardell Sailor, Rohan Singh aboard. Rounding out the field is number nine, Opening Roads, owned by Castletine Stables, trained by Tom Gardeby Jr., Tyrone Nelson gets the call. Post time for race number six. The they're at the post. And they're off. From the inside, Brits Vow is first out of the gate and after the lead. Palamon right there in second, hugging the rail. That's going to be Huckleberry County in third. Royal Nick in fourth. In between horses, three wide is Ski. Then Parkfield is going to tuck in with opening roads and the trailer while I was away. They went the opening quarter in 23 and 4. And now Brits Val has opened up on the field by 5. Four across the track in the second wave. As Huckleberry County is right there with Palamon. Three wide Royal Nick. Four wide to ski. Swooping them on the outside. That's going to be Parkfield. And then it's back to your trailers which is going to be opening roads. And while I was away, the half in 48 and 2, Brits Val, now with the lead only by a half a length in second. That's Parkfield on the outside. Palamon back to third, making up ground. Royal Nick from fourth, three quarters in 115 and one. They hit the head of the lane. Brits Val on the inside, Parkfield. Digging in on the outside and now goes on by Parkfield is opening up by three. The race is on for second. This is all going to be Parkfield. Second best is going to be Palamon. Third to Brits Val and fourth to Royal Nick. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of race number six, the FN Developments Race. The winner, number eight, Parkfield. Parkfield is a chestnut gelding, four years old, by Haynesfield, out of the mare, Safapiano's Beauty, by Safapiano. Owned and trained by Ardell Sailor, and ridden to victory by a Cinnaboy Downs leading rider, Rohan Singh. Time for the mile, one, 43 and three. Number eight, Parkfield, was proudly bred right here in Manitoba by K5 Stables. And Assiniboy Downs would like to recognize our special guest from Pegwes First Nation, Clayton Burka, and also Mike Sutherland, the general manager of Cheap Pegwes Investment Corporation and chief of Pegwes First Nation, Chief Glenn Hudson, who made a presentation to the Winning Connections. Fifteen, and Sunday afternoon at 1.15. Big races are in store.
the Gold Cup, the Winnipeg Futurity, the Manitoba Matron, and more. Saturday will showcase three of the longest races of the year. And oh yeah, who will be crowned top jockey and top trainer? And who will win the $600 bonus in the 60-second betting spree? All that and food and program discounts on Fan Appreciation Weekend. Also note, ladies and gentlemen, that crazy hour kicks in after the races. Beer, wine, and shots, $2.95, and half-price appetizers. That's right after the races. <laughs> 